Yo, you too. Welcome back to Kenny TV. Today, Epson Eagle Tank 3760 unboxing and converting into a sublimation printer. There's my sublimation ink. Put it to the side and we're going to get the printer out the box. It's going to be wrapped up in plastic. Get your instruction booklet or pamphlet. We're not going to be using that. Get your power cord. And you'll be getting your Epson ink. Get three blacks. And the rest of your colors, cyan, magenta, yellow. And we're just gonna put those to the side, not gonna be using them. So remove everything out of the plastic. And we're gonna start removing the blue tape. And make sure you check the top. Flip the flap, take off the tape, and we're just gonna turn it to the side, and we're just gonna remove that piece right there. Gonna turn it to the back. We got a couple blue tapes right there we're gonna remove. And I notice there's a compartment back there. You just squeeze it, both fingers, pull it out. And let's check inside and see if there's any blue tape in there. All right, there's none. And just place the back together. And so I got some more tape where the scan is at. And we're actually going to lift up the scanner to look inside the printer. A little closer to look at the blue tape. And make sure that you remove that. So that way, whenever you be trying to run your printer, don't cause no additional damages. So just looking around, just gonna take one more check. Looks good. Check the paper tray, which is the very bottom tray. And then there's another tray that's where the printer prints the paper that comes out. Looks good. Go ahead and just plug in the power cord to the printer. But we're not going to turn on the printer. This is going to plug that in. And we're going to start with our sublimation ink. And here's the black one. Just take off the very top. And you see that it's sealed. And I use scissors. You can use a blade, knife, razor. Let's get that open. I pretty much took the majority of it off and twist back the top but I removed the top cap part so your sublimation ink will look like this and this is Cosmo ink by the way so I lift up the whole scanner part lift up the compartment and right there where the blue is at is going to put in your ink so we're going to start with the black and as you can see right there it lines up with the black cyan magenta yellow and that's where we're going to be placing our ink and I found it easier by lifting all the blue tabs. I 
and it will just drain out fill up the tank and I'm just going to fast forward for all the rest of the colors and then once you finish close the blue tabs going to close your compartment I'm just making sure that actually closed now we're going to plug in the printer and we're going to power it on right there and it's going to take you to the screen right here for your language and you can actually slide this out right here and whatever language you prefer press OK and we're going to be using English and the process processing and take a few minutes not that long and it says see to start here sheet to complete installation which we are already press ok talked about the ink we already did the ink just hold down the question mark confirm the tanks is filled up make sure you just press ok and this is going to take a 10 minute process for your Epson Eco Tank. And let's fast forward. And what I did is went ahead and make sure the paper is 8.5 by 11. So I opened up the bottom tray, loaded up 8.5 by 11 regular paper. And pretty much we're just going to do a print head test. And to get out of this screen, which I had a little bit of trouble, what you'll have to do is hit the up arrow key. See, I made a mistake there. Went back figure it out up arrow okay then I went to maintenance press ok and right there is print head nozzle check press ok and press ok for print pull out your top tray and this is where the print is going to come out. So I'm taking a look at it real quick. Uh, see the top left part of the paper. Pretty much it's all side of line except for one. Looks good. Thumbs up. And they'll tell you on the screen if it's bad or not, but this is a brand new printer, should have no problems. So I press OK. Now we're gonna go back to home. And I went to general settings. Well, excuse me, I went to settings. Press OK. Scroll down. And I had to go to general settings and then went to network settings press ok and do the Wi-Fi setup and since I'm wireless I picked the Wi-Fi recommended
press OK. And then press OK to start setup. Then you come to the Wi Fi setup wizard, press OK. And fast forward, put in my information, press OK, went back to home, and you're done.